there, welcome, welcome. My name is Hannah and I will be taking you through a 20 minute yoga flow as part of our holiday series. As far as the equipment goes, all you will need is a yoga mat or just the ground. Um, and today we'll focus on a series of mobility, um, movements, um, and some stretching that you can implement day to day. So we will go ahead and get started here on our backs. And we'll take a moment to warm up our breath starting to slow down that breathing. Inhaling, allowing your belly to expand and fill with air. And exhale, allowing that belly to drop. Finding a rhythm that works best for you. Allowing yourself to sink into your mat and set your intention for today. Maybe that's to work on your flexibility or mobility, or maybe that intention is just to be present today. I'll take a few more calming breaths together. Tuck both knees in towards the chest, giving yourself a nice hug here. We'll start to create small little circles on our mat, giving ourselves a nice back massage here. And switching directions. meeting back at the center on our next exhale we'll extend through one leg leaving one knee tucked in towards the chest inhale coming back to center exhale extending and inhale and exhale repeating through those motions at your own pace good meeting back at center here we'll Bring our arms up to the side as we drop our knees to one side on an exhale, inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, other side, warming up those low back muscles. Good, we'll complete one more repetition on each side. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale, planting those feet on the mat, bringing your arms to your side. We'll tuck our belly button in towards our spine as we engage our core and lifting up into a bridge on an exhale and inhale, lowering one vertebrae at a time and exhale, lifting those hips, feeling the stretch through your hip flexors and the tops of your thighs. Inhale, lowering one vertebrae at a time. We'll continue on with these. And we'll do one more repetition. And we'll meet at the bottom. Good, rolling onto your side, we will come into all fours. We're gonna work on our cat-cow series. So with this one, you wanna make sure that your knees are stacked underneath your hips, that your shoulders are over your wrists. And you're gonna square up here, tucking that belly button up towards the spine as we engage that core. And then we're gonna drop through our belly, drop it down towards your mat, gazing up towards the sky. And inhale, rounding. Rounding through the spine, tucking your chin underneath, and exhale. Cueing your breathing with your movements, and inhale. And exhale. I'll do a few more of these. This is a great exercise that you can do in a seated position at your desk. Nice 
job. Coming back to a neutral position, we'll sit back into child's pose here. Resting your forehead on the mat. Breathing into your belly here, breathing into those rib cage and diaphragm, letting everything expand and deflate. We'll crawl our hands to the left side, opening up our right trunk. And inhale, coming back to center and exhale, other side. Working our way back to the middle, we'll come into all fours here. Again, tucking that belly button up towards the spine. Holding that nice core position, we will work on a core movement here. So it's called bird dog. So bird dog, you have a few options here. One, you can hover opposite knee and hand, just right in place there. Or you can start to work your way out more into a extension, an arm leg extension. And then you can also work your way out all the way. So the biggest thing with this one is just maintaining your nice, neutral spinal alignment and core engagement. So we'll inhale, come to center, exhale, extend through the limbs. And inhale, and exhale. Continuing through at your own pace, making sure everything is in proper alignment, that it feels good. We'll do one more repetition on each side. Good, and we'll tuck our toes underneath and we'll press in up and back into downward facing dog here. And know that your downward facing dog is gonna look different than mine. You can have slightly bent knees. Biggest thing is just pressing back into those hips. My calves are feeling nice and tight from skiing this weekend. Let's pedal through those heels. Good, cueing that breathing. We're gonna step to the top of our mat here with our feet between our hands, hanging out in a forward fold here. Again, you can have a slightly bent knee, allowing the crown of your head to drop towards your mat. Shifting that weight side to side. Shaking your head yes. And shaking your head no. We'll take an inhale as we half lift here. Pulling those shoulder blades back. Focusing your gaze on your mat. Exhale, forward fold. We'll sweep the ceiling here into an upward salute. And exhale, swan diving down. Stepping back into downward facing dog. We'll raise through our right or left leg. Stepping through to the top of our mat, we'll plant that back heel. Inhale, coming into warrior one. You'll feel that nice opening of your hip. You'll notice my back foot is slightly turned out. My back toes are slightly turned out. And then I'm gonna just shift my weight forward into that front leg. Finding the four corners of your feet. So I like to use this example. If you were to draw a rectangle around your feet, you'd find those four corners and try to maintain contact with each of those points. Good, framing that foot here. We're gonna step back into downward facing dog. We'll do that same warrior one on the other side. Planting that back heel. Inhale, coming into warrior one. Feeling those four corners of your feet, grounding yourself into your mat, framing that front foot, stepping back into downward facing dog. We'll shift our weight forward into a plank or a modified plank, and we'll tuck our elbows in lower halfway. Pressing into up dog, inhale, and exhale back into down dog. Great job. 
good. Raising through your right or left leg. We'll go through that same movement, this time stepping through our left leg, planting that back heel, hands to heart center here. We're gonna twist that back foot so that your toes are both pointing the short end of your mat. So now we're in a lunge position. And my hands are at heart center. I'm gonna twist over that front knee for a spinal twist. And then for a little bit of a challenge here, you can open up or you can keep your hands at heart center. We're gonna just do a few strengthening positions, then we'll do a little bit more stretching. Good, hands back to heart center, framing that front foot, stepping back into down dog, doing the same thing on the other side. And actually, instead of coming into a warrior one, you can just come straight into your lunge. Inhale, reaching those fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. And then twisting over that front knee. So we're moving our body in multi-directions here. So we're focusing on twisting and hinging. Good, coming back to center here. Framing that front foot, stepping back into down dog. We'll go through another chaturanga, shifting that weight forward into a plank or modified plank. Exhale, lowering halfway. Inhale, pressing into up dog. And exhale, pressing into down dog. We'll step or hop our feet to the top of the mat. Taking an inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward salute. We're gonna come into another strength pose. Exhale, chair. So you'll notice with my chair that I'm sitting back into my hips. Most of the weight is in my heels. My biceps are in line with my ears and I'm dropping my shoulders down and back. Good, taking an inhale, reaching towards the sky. Exhale, swan diving down, stepping back into down dog. We'll shift our weight forward to a plank and we're gonna drop to our knees here. We're gonna bring one knee forward and one leg back. And then with this motion, we're gonna work, a, work on a hip flexor stretch. So you're gonna notice me tuck my hips underneath me. So I'm gonna draw my belly button in as I tuck my hips underneath me and shift my weight forward. Taking that opposite outside hand, we're gonna reach overhead into a side bend here. Good, we're gonna frame that front foot. We're gonna prop up our heel and sit back. Exhale. You'll feel a nice hamstring stretch here. So these are all very practical stretches that you can do throughout your day. If your knees don't like kneeling, you can fold up or you can put pillows underneath. But there's also ways to do this standing as well. Good, shifting that weight forward, we'll frame that foot. Step it back into all fours, bring the other leg forward. Same idea, we're gonna tuck our hips underneath us, draw our belly button in, shift our weight forward. And then on your next exhale, reaching overhead for a side bend. Good, coming down, framing that foot. Sitting back into those hips. Again, this stretch looks different for everyone. You can use yoga blocks if you need to prop yourself up a little bit. Good, and we're gonna shift our weight forward. Framing that foot, coming back to all fours. We're gonna take a seat here, flip those legs around. We're getting to the end here, so let's just roll onto our backs, bringing out both knees into the chest again. This next movement is gonna be great for your inner thighs. And there's various degrees that you can do this. So 
You're going to widen your stance here and bring the bottom of your feet towards the ceiling, towards the sky. And then hang on to either the top of your foot, your big toe. You'll notice my elbows are in the inside of my knees. This is called happy baby. You can also work on drawing your belly button in towards your back here. I like to shift my weight side to side to get a better stretch. Do what feels comfortable for you. We'll hang out here for about 30 seconds. Just a few more breaths to go. Good, and dropping those legs down. We'll cross one ankle over the other. We're gonna come into what's called a piriformis stretch or also known as figure four. So we're crossing one ankle over the knee here. As we grab a hold of the knee gently, you're gonna pull it towards your opposite shoulder. You can elevate this foot for a further stretch. And then another thing I like to do is if I have a towel, I'll interlace it here and pull the opposite, opposite knee closer for a different kind of stretch. So a few options there. You'll feel this stretch mostly in your outer hip and glute. Breathing into that stretch. And coming out of that pose, switching sides, crossing that ankle over, bringing that knee towards the opposite shoulder. Coming out of that pose, we'll bring our arms out to the side and on our next exhale, we'll drop our knees to one side. If you need more pressure over top, you can take that bottom leg, cross it over and apply light pressure to that knee. You might feel this one into your low back, maybe it's more your outer hip. Bringing both knees up to center, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Crossing one ankle over, if you need a little bit more of a stretch here. Good, rolling onto our side, we'll come to a seated position. And we're gonna just finish off the class here. So let's just do a few Shoulder rolls, reverse shoulder rolls. Good, and we're gonna twist and look over that right shoulder. Inhale back to center, exhale, twist, look over that left shoulder. Good, coming back to center, we'll go ear to shoulder here for neck stretch. Tucking chin to chest, real gentle here. We'll switch here to other shoulder. We'll do one more round of that. Here to other shoulder. And one more on the other side. Right. I hope you guys had a chance to find some practical stretches that you can do throughout your day, your work day, your weekend. Um, I hope you have a happy holiday. We'll take a few finishing breaths together. We'll take an inhale, sweeping the sky and exhale. And inhale and hands to heart center here and exhale. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today.